Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So Manchester United have drawn with Spurs at Old Trafford 2-2 after taking the lead twice in the game. In the first half, goals from Rasmus Hoyland, an excellent, a fierce shot into the top corner after a couple of minutes. And Marcus Rashford as well, giving Manchester United um, a lead going into half time with a fantastically placed finish into the corner, um, being set up by Rasmus Hoyland. I think it was a goal and an assist um, for Rashford and Hoyland in this game. Um, but Manchester United fell apart in the second half. And whilst I understood the tactics that Manchester United deployed and, you know, we, we sat off them a little bit and we looked to hit them on the counter-attack, you can do that against Spurs because Spurs, you know, whether they're playing with 11 men, 10 men, 9 men, they look to go and get commit a lot of bodies forward. So there's always a way you can play, especially with the likes of Garnacho, Hoyland and Marcus Rashford. And I thought, you know, Hoyland and Rashford particularly did well today. Garnacho wasn't too bad. But you've got to be a little bit more tenacious. You've got to be a little bit more... You know, the, the press has got to be better. You've got to be winning the ball back in certain areas of the pitch. And we just didn't do that enough today. Um, and I thought Spurs, you know, sandwiched between Manchester United's goals in the first half. Spurs were pretty comfortable, had most of the possession, um, scored a goal from a header from Richarlison. And they had so many corners in the game. It always felt like Manchester United were going to concede from one. And Richarlison peels off and, and wins a header in the six-yard box. And it's 1-1 it, one, one at that point. Um, between Manchester United and Spurs. And then just after half time, um, we allow Ben Tencourt to score. There was a very good goal from him, and it was a bit of clever play to create the space between him and Johnny Evans. Maybe Johnny Evans could have done a little bit better to hold that space and make sure it was tight. I think Andre Anana anticipated a shot near post or low, um, and the shot went quite high at him, and it surprised him a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit like um, Rasmus Hoyland's goal in the first half, where you, you know the shot's just really quick and. And, and pacey and it's difficult for the goalkeeper and it comes high up um, into the goal. Uh, but you've got to be better just after the break, man. How can you be conceding so early? And we've seen us do that, especially at Old Trafford a few times. You know, conceding early against Nottingham Forest, conceding early in a few of the games. Why are we doing that constantly and conceding early in this second half? Um, I think Spurs, again, did have the chances to maybe win the game after that. But conceding early was just annoying. And you lose the momentum that you build by bringing that 2-1 lead into the second half. Um, and it was frustrating. And I don't think we ever really looked like doing anything in the game. Obviously, we had that, that, that opportunity for Scott McTominay um, with, with, with a matter of seconds left on the clock. He has to score that. He has to score that. How are you heading it up? Have to head that down into the ground or into the, you know on target. Heading it up into the air. It was a bizarre header. And the decision to bring him on was really weird as well. I didn't, I didn't get it. Manchester United had no control in the midfield area. You know, we had Kobe Maino, Christian Eriksen um, and Bruno Fernandes. And Spurs were growing into the game in that, in that second half. And we brought McTominay. If you're losing control of a midfield, don't bring Scott McTominay on. It's pretty fucking obvious. And we seem to bring him on and, and kind of lose control. One, Well, lose more control. We didn't have any to, be, to begin with. One of, the benef one of the positives of today was seeing Lissandro Martinez back. And you already seen some of the advantages of having someone that can play the passes that he can and bring the ball forward when he was on the pitch. But ultimately today, I thought it was a real missed opportunity. Spurs have got a lot of players missing, as do we. Um, but they had a lot of players missing. We scored two without ever really doing much in the game. And you just felt if Manchester United had a 7 out of 10 performance today, an 8 out of 10 performance, we comfortably win. Having said that, if Spurs have all of their players, the Madisons and Kulisevskis and this, that and the other, they probably comfortably win that game if we play like we did today. So, a real disappointing one. At home, you, you've got to be expecting to win that game um, against Spurs and especially taking the lead twice and then to let it go and let it slip out of your hands, I think is, is massively disappointing and is poor from Manchester United and everybody involved. Sergio Ratcliffe was in a stand, sat there with uh, Sir Alex Ferguson and he'll be seeing... He's got a lot of work to do. I wasn't at the game today. My brother went down there um, with the tickets. But um, the atmosphere in the second half, you can tell there's a lot of, there's a lack of confidence amongst Manchester United fans at the moment. There's a lack of belief in this team and it's spreading across to the crowd. Now, obviously, you'd like everyone to be singing 90 minutes no matter what's happening. But team performance does have a, a, an effect and an impact on, on the way the fans are. And you want to see that place rocking, man. You want to see that place rocking. Look, Eric Ten Hag is going to get a lot of his players back fit. And the performance, we played against a good team today. So we're, 
a draw against Spurs isn't the end of the world, but you've got to play better than we did and the performance wasn't good enough. I, I was happy with some of the bits I've seen from Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland getting a goal and an assist for them. Um, we'll, be, we'll do their, you know, do them a world of, of good um, and give them a lot of confidence going forward. Um, you know, Marcus Rashford hasn't caught at Old Trafford in an awfully long time um, and we need him playing well because he's one of our best players. But we need everyone playing well. It was disappointing Luke Shaw had to be pulled out of the team Early on, we saw Aaron Wambasaka playing there at left back, um, obviously out of position. And maybe we could have switched Diogo Delo there, and it would have been a little bit more natural. But maybe the manager had discussed some things with with Diogo Delo in terms of, you know, the opposition and stuff, and then felt he couldn't change that or didn't want to change that, given that Diogo Delo was drilled to play at right back. I'm not sure what happened there, but obviously, missing Luke Shaw would have had an impact as well on the team. Obviously, having Juan Pesaka play out. I like Aaron Juan Pesaka, but you don't want him playing at left back, ideally. Um, and that's a problem. Lissandro Martinez being back is good. Casemiro was on the bench, so he's closer to a return, maybe too soon for him. And the stage the game was at, you know, he, he maybe didn't want to risk him. But the substitutes, I don't think, were, were too good today, although it was good to see Lissandro Martinez back. And I just felt the performance could have been a little bit better, particularly in that second half. Maybe in the first half, you could say it went to plan, but then in the second half when you concede so early and you don't really look like a threat and then the chance that you do have Scott McTominay does that with it it's just like should have been better and we should have got three points we're falling further away um, from that top four in the Champions League spot I fucking hate the Europa League and that's probably where we're going to end up or in the Conference League or something as it stands we need to you know turn this form around and start getting on a run of wins but if we continue to play like that it's not going to happen now you hope the return of some of these injured players, Luke Shaw, Casemiro, etc., can help boost the team and bolster that and bring a little bit of presence out there. It was good. There was a few glimpses from what Kobe Mano, I think I think Spurs did well with him today, but again, there was a few glimpses of what he can do. And he was receiving the ball from Lissandro Martinez at times. Be interesting to see Casemiro, Mano, um, and Bruno Fernandes in the midfield. I think that was something that the manager was working at towards the start of the season and then couldn't do it because of injuries to Kobe Mano and then subsequently Casemiro. But Look, it's got to be better than that. It's as simple as that. It's got to be better than that. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, a lot of disappointment, a few positives to take, but should be winning the game. And we should be, if we just had a little 5% extra, probably win that game. So frustrating. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it like, like comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'm out of here.